A school emergency can take many forms and may be due to weather, a power outage, hazardous materials, or a crisis at or near the school. Circumstances may occur that require parents to pick up their children in a formalized, controlled release. This is called reunification. Because a controlled release is not a typical end of school day event, a reunification may occur at a different location than your child's school. What part do you play as a parent or guardian? The role you play might be different than what you expect. In this seven minute video, we will tell you why it's important to stay home and not attempt to come to the school, how you can stay informed about the situation, how you can be ready for reunification with your child. In a school emergency situation such as a tornado, fire, or crisis at or near the school, the most important contribution you can make to your child's safety is to stay home. We know your natural instinct as a parent or guardian is to come to school to protect your child. But by doing so, you may endanger yourself or your child. The school district and our first responders are working to control the situation and protect your children. Please don't come to the school. If you do, law enforcement or school officials might be distracted from the important task of keeping your child safe and managing the crisis and handling the emergency situation. You can help by staying home. In a school emergency situation, we want you to stay informed. We will provide information as soon as possible. But in some situations, accurate information takes time to verify and share. The school district will communicate throughout the emergency and parents may be notified in a number of ways. The school may use its phone auto dialer or text message system or may contact you by email. The district website and local news media may also provide reunification information. It's extremely important that the school has your current phone numbers and email addresses. If your contact information changes, please notify your school. In some cases, students may be asked to send a text message to their parent or guardian. A reunification text message from a student may look something like this. The school has closed. Please pick me up at 325 at the main entrance. Bring your ID. You should not call or text a student's cell phone, as you may put the student at risk by doing so. Students and staff are taught to stay out of sight and be quiet. A phone ringing or vibrating could alert an intruder someone is close by. Additionally, please don't call the school, as you will be taking school staff away from the emergency situation. Ways you can monitor the situation include checking the district website, and checking local news media. How can you help? Keep your phone charged and close by. Stay informed by monitoring the district website and local news media. Here's what you can do to be ready and what to expect. In the case reunification is necessary, you'll be informed of where and when to pick up your child and what you need to bring. Parents and guardians will come to a reunification check-in location. Upon arrival, you will be asked to fill out a reunification card, show your photo ID, and then be reunited with your child. Remember, photo identification will be required at the reunification site. Okay, I need to see your license. Be patient. Reunification is a process that protects both the safety of the students and provides for an accountable exchange of custody from the school to a recognized custodial parent or guardian. Our number one priority is that students are safe and that they are united with their parent or guardian safely. Remember that this process takes time and it's important to stay calm. What if a parent can't pick up their child? When a parent can't immediately go to the reunification site, the preference is to release students to those individuals who are identified as a student's emergency contact. 
Student self-evacuation. In some situations, students may evacuate themselves from the school. In this case, the student should notify their parent that they are safe. It is also imperative that the student or the parent notify the district. In this case, we may publicize a special phone number for this purpose. Remember, bring your photo ID. Be patient and remain calm. Try to send one adult rather than bringing other family members. Bring a pen or a pencil. In this video, we have told you why it's important to stay home and not attempt to come to the school, how you can stay informed about the situation, how you can be ready for reunification with your child. How can you help? Help us spread the word. Remind your friends and talk about your own emergency plans. Keep your information current by letting the school know if your phone numbers or email changes. Remember to stay home, stay informed, and be ready.